So I'm going to work with the rotator cuff and just feeling around phallus's scapula, there's the spine of the scapula there. So now I'm thinking infraspinatus. How does that feel, Alice? Round about there. Mm, yeah. yeah. Again, I can just hold a point, a little bit of passive movement. And if I get Alice to work with me, I'll just put my leg there. And if you can just push your hand back down towards your feet. That's it. And release. Thank you. Okay, getting quite specific, another point just there, again I'm just holding it with my reinforced fingertips. Given Alice's muscle tone and just generally how strong and fit she is, I can feel it releasing really quite quickly. Come up to supraspinatus, there's the spine, just feel into that hollow just above. And this time I'm just going to step to the other side. Alice, can you push your elbow forwards against my leg? There we are, activate the muscle and let it go. Thank you. And go again. And let it go. So I'm just thinking there, yeah, what does uh, supraspinatus do? Well, it abducts the shoulder. It's the spark plug for the deltoid, if you like. And so I just need to figure out, right, how can I get my body in such a position to give her something to push against? So I use my leg and um, that seemed to work quite nicely. So also with the rotator cuff, I can work with subscapularis and this time, similar to what I did supine, but this time it's prone, using my bare paw, reach underneath, Burrow round, lifting the scapula away from the ribs a little. How does that feel, Alice? Quite tight. Quite strong, yeah. Okay. Bit of passive movement, good. Great. And having worked on the other side, I think probably okay just with the passive work. Just generally mobilizing the scapula around the rib cage now. Bit of vibration. That feels good. Thank you.